Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Particle Void Node. And we're going to jump into Fusion where we've already got kind of a setup of particles using the Avoid Node to avoid our uh, actress here. And we'll, we'll kind of use this to uh, demonstrate what the Particle Avoid Node does. And all these nodes are your basic nodes that uh, we've already gone over other than the particle avoid and I believe the resize node. So you guys should already know about all these other nodes that I use to build this quick little uh, demonstration. So what the particle avoid node does is it creates a region and it attempts to have the affected particles avoid entering or crossing the region that you dictate. And the one thing is you got to remember, this isn't like the balance where it's actually going to stop and not go into our region. What's going to dictate whether it still enters the region and fails to avoid your region is the velocity and speed of your particles. So if it's going too fast for it to avoid, it's still going to enter your region. So if we look at, uh, say this render and, uh, actually let me get a, uh, background and I'm going to replace it. so we can see what's going on. So if I look at our region, and let me disconnect this because I actually did a mask around there, you can see our region, our particles are still entering that bitmap reason, region because they're going too fast to avoid everything, which is why we used a mask to kind of mask that out. So within the avoidance node it, itself, you have controls and your distance controls how far it's going to detect those edges and uh, attempt to avoid. Your strength determines how strong the particles move away from the region. So a negative value will make the particles go towards the region. A positive value will make them go away. So if I play this, you can see these are positive values. So all these particles are being pushed away. If I dropped it down and this is going to take a while to uh, <laughs> re-render, re but we'll wait a second. If I drop it down, the particles are going to be driven towards our region. So let me bump that back up. Now, as far as your regions go, we have the same regions we have on all the other uh, particle nodes with the all Bezier bitmap cube line mesh rectangle and sphere. And I use the bitmap. And once you use the bitmap, you'll get this input for your uh, avoidance bitmap. But if I change this to uh, say cube, and uh, let's just disconnect this and let's play. Now you can see that region right there, these are attempting to move away. But since we actually have these particles set to all, we have some particles being spawned inside, so they're not gonna attempt to avoid. But you can see these larger ones we have as they come into your region, they're attempting to avoid and they're moving away. And same with sphere. If we change it to a sphere, let me go ahead and rewind that. You can see it's avoiding that sphere. And then within each region, you have your typical uh, settings. Now under conditions, you have the probability, just like most other particle nodes, the probability of those uh, particles avoiding, the age when you want them to avoid, and you also have uh, sets to assign sets. And then on top of your distance and strength, you've got your random seed and your reseed and your time lock, just like other particle nodes. So that is the avoid node in a nutshell. So let's go back here and I'll just walk you through how I set this up. I'm not going to rebuild it from scratch, but I'll change it to bitmap. And let's reconnect.
this and reconnect our footage. And we'll play. So basically we initially had this media, which I used a resize node just to resize because it's 4K footage. So I resized it with a resize node. So we have this footage. And what I did is I create a bitmap based off of that footage. And then to get rid of some of this stuff, I created a little ellipse and just animated around her face. So that was blocked out. So that's our little lips. Just going around real quick. And this bitmap was what was input into our particle of void node. As far as our emitters go, I probably should have stopped that first. Our first emitter, all we had was our region set to all, so it's spawning particles everywhere. And I had 2,000 particles with a lifespan of 300, no, no velocity, no variances, no nothing going on. And then for the style, I just had point cluster and I changed our color over life. For the second emitter, I used a line. So I've got them spawning up top up here. So they drop down. And for the style, I used a blob and I made them pretty large. So at four in a size variance of two. And then I did a size over life to get a little smaller and color over life. I just changed the color over life. We merged these two together. They went into a directional force and my directional force. I just dropped the strength a little bit and made sure it was going down. And this was fed into our particle of void. In our particle of void, I had strength set way up to one and the distance set down to 0 0.1. And just for the look, all I did was added a blur, added a glow, and merged them together. And initially, We had all these particles coming into uh, into our uh, little actress here. This is what it originally looked like because all these particles weren't actually avoiding her. They're going through. So on the bitmap, I added a erode node just to erode it down and a blur node. And this blur node is what I input into our mask to mask that out. So why I use the erode node is if I turn this off, you can see we're kind of getting that black edge around there. So I just used an erode node to bring that down. So it wasn't so prevalent and I could probably bring it down a little more, but I really didn't spend too much time on this. <laughs> but after that, I added another merge. And instead of a glow, I just brought our blur in. So I could use this to actually reintroduce some particles on top. So if I go to our blend, you can see our blends way down to like 0009 or 0 0.009. So if I brought our blend up, you see they're back over. But I brought it way, way down. So it wasn't so prevalent. But still kind of went on her a little bit. And that was it. So quick, simple, fast look using the emitter nodes with the particle avoid node. So I will see you in the next node breakdown.